This Diverge Fitness Tuesday tip, we're here with world-renowned Dr. Andrew Pippis. We're going to be discussing the effect of obesity on cancer incidence and survival rate. Thank you, Dr. Pippis. My pleasure. Good morning. There's very good data that is emerging that people who are overweight seem to have a higher incidence of what we call fat-driven malignancies, and we see those uh, patients coming in now with a higher incidence of developing breast cancer, colon cancer seems to be an obesity-driven malignancy, and probably even pancreatic cancer and esophageal cancer. Really? So, a number of uh, those uh, tumors uh, seem to be driven by the lifestyle that leads to a heavy set lifestyle and overweight lifestyle. There's very good data that if a woman who gets diagnosed with breast cancer is overweight, seems to have a poor prognosis in terms of survival. There's very good data that if a woman gains weight after treatment, and about 80% of women who go through breast cancer treatment actually gain weight, if you can imagine that, you would think they would lose weight exactly. because they're nauseated and sick, but actually they gain weight. Their metabolism slows, and then they, uh, they tend to eat, uh, even though they may eat a little less, their metabolism slows so significantly that their weight gain goes up. But there's very good data from Scandinavia that for people who are obese, they have about a 20 or 30% likelihood of reoccurrence on a stage-by-stage -stage basis for breast cancer. So we have uh, begun to initiate at our center and other centers of focusing on survivorship. And among those issues are key things like nutrition and exercise. We have a woman who runs our launch program, and she sees all of our breast cancer survivors. She uh, works with the diet, works with uh, making small dietary changes, but critical ones, and exercise. And we try to get our patients to, to get their weight down after having had chemotherapy if they were overweight. Uh, if they have, if they were not overweight, to keep them from gaining weight. Um, but where the the discipline of oncology now is recognizing that there is a um, kind of a host uh, disease interaction going on here. That it isn't just a disease; it's the host the disease lives in. Absolutely. That affects the the outcome, and and we're looking very closely at host disease interaction now, particularly the issues with obesity, um, inactivity vitamin D deficiency, um, mineral deficiencies, um, and those sort of issues that come into play. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Pippis. My pleasure. Very much. Thank you.